Tonight, deputies say that they found the two men accused of an attack at a wedding reception. They're charged with beating a man after he was already unconscious. News 6's Brian Didlake is in the newsroom tonight with the latest on this. Uh, both this father and son, Joel O'Grady and Julian Falkenberg, have already posted their bonds Saturday afternoon, but they are both still being accused by Volusia County Sheriff's Office of severely beating a man even after he became unconscious. Someone got hit really hard. There's, he's leaking blood. He can barely breathe. A 911 call alerting Volusia County deputies of a fight between three men. Deputies responded to the Granville Farms wedding reception area in Lake Helen this past Saturday. When they arrived, deputies say they found Tyler Kaltenbach severely beaten. Investigators say surveillance video shows Joel O'Grady and his son Julian Falkenberg stomping and beating Kaltenbach. Both arrested Friday night and charged with aggravated battery with bodily harm. You have a father and son team that just ba basically beat this guy unconscious with their hands and their feet. But we do need an ambulance because he's not too good. The deputy's report shows an event manager called 911. In the report, it says he saw the victim, Kaltenbach, and the suspect, O'Grady, in a verbal argument in front of the Lake Helen venue. That's until Falkenberg is noted to have said, don't touch my dad before striking Kaltenbach. Kaltenbach's family sharing these pictures moments after the beating. His attorney, Sarah Howler, telling News 6 Wednesday the cause of the fight is unclear. I do know that there is some family history, um, that the families know each other and have known each other for a good amount of time. Howler says Kaltenbach suffered severe damage to his nose and face to the extent that Kaltenbach suffered from extensive dental damage and a concussion. The sheriff's office saying things could have gone worse. This isn't like a punch. This is the guy goes down and then you stomp on him till he's unconscious. This could have very easily been a murder. Now, Kaltenbach has since been released from the hospital. His family telling News 6 that he still has a long road to recovery. The suspects, O'Grady and Falkenberg, again, have already posted their bond, but as a condition of their release, they're not to have any contact with the victim. We're in the newsroom. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6.